The former world title challenger Eduardo Surito Ramirez. Yeah, I'm gonna be at that fight. Uh, March 15th, Rosado versus um, Soloski. Hank Lundy versus Sparrow. And now, ladies and gentlemen, um, we invite Farmer to the stage versus Carol from Puerto Arguelles, Taylor. Chiriqui in Panama, with a record of 24, 1 and 1. They can do that. 20 wins coming by way of knockout. He is ranked the WBA number one featherweight contender. Please welcome La Roca, Brian De Gracia. Yeah, that's a very, very good entertaining card. Like that, the zone card, March the 15th, that's going to be a nice, solid, entertaining card. This card, yeah, I'm not, you know, and now, like, ladies and gentlemen, once you know, again, we invite to this scale at this time. On our featherweight title fight, the weight limit is 126 pounds. Former world title challenger, currently ranked the WBA number three featherweight contender, Eduardo Surito Ramirez. Oh, somebody got to get butt ass naked. I don't know where Ray Flores is. That's a good question. What's he doing this weekend? Well, no, Showtime is always Jimmy Lennon, though. Unless it's like Showtime Special Edition or some shit. He posted his schedule on his uh on Eduardo his Twitter page. Eduardo Ramirez weighs in at 127 pounds, 127. Of course, that is one pound over the featherweight limit for this title bout. He will have two hours in order to make that 126 pound limit. Didn't make weight. SMH. And he's the one that was looking all smooth and shit at the fucking um, press conference yesterday. Also, watch how cocky he's going to be at the uh, face-off. It's like, bro, you got to make weight first. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we invite to the scale at this time. He'll be making his U.S. debut. He is the WBA number one ranked featherweight contender, La Roca, Brian De Gracia. Law well, was supposed to move up to 160. They was talking about that at one point in time. 124 and three quarter pounds. 124 and three quarter pounds for La Roca. Brian De Gracia. We're getting our commercials back soon. My God, I'll be real. I, I just realized, like, I've been working for free for damn near 70 days. Some crazy shit, man. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Showtime. Luckily, I ain't sued your asses. But no, we love Showtime. Showtime, y'all the shit. Y'all the shit, Showtime. Y'all the shit. Y'all the shit. No, we will have our ads back sometime. It should be this week coming up or next week. Definitely before Spence Garcia. So I've been cleaning up the channel and shit. And there they bastard. are, ladies and gentlemen. It opens up our broadcast on Showtime Championship Boxing. 12 rounds of boxing scheduled for the vacant WBA Gold Featherweight Championship Brian De Gracia versus Eduardo Ramirez. The Cambodian man's voice. Yeah, I've been rebuilding. They thought I was going to be bitching. If it was two years ago, don't get me wrong, I was broken shit. But now, you know, I admit we probably lost probably like between three to maybe $6,000, depending, depending. Because uh, we didn't get paid for Pac Broner. So we lost a lot of bread. But they thought I was going to be bitching. I stood my ground and, you know, we're back. We're almost back. So one day, sometime soon, commercials are going to just pop up. I'm going to be happy and shit. I was pissed, though. I was pissed. All right, fans, here we go from Barclays Center here in Brooklyn. Premier Boxing Champions. Yeah, 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 I know. the official yeah, weigh-in for our co-main event of the evening, our heavyweight attraction. Scheduled 10 rounds of boxing and brought to you in association with ECB Promotions. First to the stage, ladies and gentlemen, we have joining us from Hamburg, Germany, by way of Galati, Romania. He's the two-time European heavyweight champion. Yeah, there's no commercial. Shows on here. Contender, please welcome Christian We're blacklisted. Hammer. Our um, videos are not even promoted. That's why the view's and been so low. Ready to join us on to the stage at this time. 
Fighting out of Miami by way of Camarue, Cuba. Our shits His are not recommended. Was one time in a Un world Uncle Ortiz. In 33 professional bouts. Please welcome the WBC number three ranked heavyweight contender, Luis King Kong Ortiz. I'm not getting into all that, Ben. That's too much mumbo jumbo. And the fighters are ready to step onto the scale. First, with a record of 24 and 5, with 14 knockouts, he'll be making his U.S. debut. Please welcome the two time European heavyweight champion, Christian Hammer. Watch, look at Luis Ortiz's fresh dye job. You can't tell me his hair ain't dyed to keep the gray hairs from showing. Ain't he always got a fresh, clean, smooth face? 257 and a half. Hey, you son of a bitch. You don't skip my commercials, you bastard. Christian Hammer. All mods, you're required to watch now all commercials. Opponent, the popular heavyweight contender, the hard hitting a former world title challenger, Luis King Kong Ortiz. Unk, unk. Look at this fresh dye job. You can't tell me his hair not dyed. Look at that shit. Watch. 238 and three quarter pounds, 238 and three quarter pounds for Luis King Kong Ortiz. You better keep taking those diabetes pills. Don't forget, guys, you gotta do the gloves and the in the back. Fuck around, have a stroke. No, no, I'm just joking. Let's not joke about that. You cannot tell me that he was 35 four years ago. You can't tell me no shit like that. He was not my age four years ago. You was not telling me that. I'm sorry. You was not telling me that Luis Ortiz was from motherfucking 40, 35. Yeah, he's a little bit smaller. He's look, he's a little more cut. You can tell that. He knows he got to get, like, his. he got to have his shit right. Look at, look at him. Ladies and gentlemen, it's our heavyweight co-featured attraction of the evening 10 rounds of boxing scheduled. Brought to you by TBC Cook Promotions in association with phenomenal shape. With Bella Entertainment and Showtime. Premier Boxing Champions presents... Luis King Kong Ortiz versus Christian Hammer. Ten rounds of boxing scheduled. He's usually around what, like 240, 242, 244 or some shit, 245? He's never been 250, I believe. I think we can see Wilder Ortiz too, if, if Ortiz makes easy work. Expect for him to make easy work at Christian Hammond tomorrow night or go for easy work. I think he's about 45 because you know when you come over from Cuba, you can be any age you want once you get off that, um, that boat. Or whatever you floated over here in. No disrespect. So, you know, you don't have no paperwork when you come over here. Like, Laura, look how Laura, long Laura been around. Laura been around since fucking Fight Night Knockout Kings and shit. That Paul Williams fight was old as shit. Here we go from Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Premier Boxing Champions presents the official I was like 12. for our featured attraction of the evening. Brought to you by TGB Promotions in association with the Bella Entertainment and Showtime. Our main event is scheduled 12 rounds of boxing for the WBA Super Welterweight Championship of the World. First, we invite to the stage the challenger fighting out of Houston by way of Guantanamo Cuba. He is ranked the WBA number two contender. Please welcome the long time former super welterweight champion of the world, Eris Lundy, the American dream, Lara. I want to see AJ fight. Yeah, I, I will, man. You know, well, the walls are closing in on all these heavyweights. They're going to have to fight each other. They're running out of credible opponents. And his opponent already joining us on the stage at this time. He is the defending champion, hailing from San Justo, Buenos Aires, Argentina. He is undefeated in his campaign, 15-0 with 10 knockouts. The undefeated WBA super welterweight champion of the world, Brian El Boxy Castaño. Oh my God, I love olive oil. I cook with that shit all the time. I made some chicken with olive oil last night. Shit is fucking good, man.
First, we invite to the scale the defending champion in his second defense of his title. He'll be making his Showtime debut, the undefeated WBA Super Welterweight Champion of the World, Brian. He got some tidy whiteies on. Castaño. He up there with some briefs on. 154 pounds for the champion, right at the limit of 154 pounds. Lonzo Ball. Brian Castaño. I don't care if they polo or not, now bro. You got some tidy white challenger on. in his eighth consecutive world title appearance. Please welcome the former super he got that champion of the world, <laughs> Edis Lundy, the American Dream, Lara. The Thanos got that Thanos. 153 and a half pounds, 153 and a half pounds for the challenger and former world champion Eris Lundi Lara. No, that's probably why I don't get no credentials, man. We be talking, y'all talk about people too damn much. Y'all the reason why I don't get into no fight. Y'all be baiting me into this shit. That man does not have Thanos' chin. No, I'm not looking. Fuck you. I'm not looking. I know one thing with a chin like that, he better not never get knocked out. And there they are, ladies and gentlemen. It's the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of action scheduled for the WBA Super Welterweight Championship of the World. Brian Castaño, champion, challenger, Eddie Slundy, the American Dream, Lara.